y'all. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Before we get into the video, excuse me, there's a few things I need to say up front. You know, I was saving this one for a rainy day. And it happened to be one of those days. <laughs> you know, I was, as I'm trying to keep up with the NFL offseason, and I am as a part of a podcast now. This topic really kind of stuck stuck at me. And at first I was like, hmm. I didn't want to make a video right away because I wanted to make sure that I had all the facts and that this was actually something that, oh wait, this is this really happening? When I looked more into it, I actually laughed because I actually had a title for this video, but I wasn't going to put that. But I, I, it, 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 when I was reading this article on this situation, it brought back two situations that stuck out to me. One, if you remember, I did a video on Kemar Silverman. And then I did a two-part video on Dwayne Haskins. When you look at this situation, if you remember in those two videos, as it is some as somebody here on YouTube has says, repetition is the mother of skill. What were the two point two main points that I was driving? in that those two videos three videos i should say responsibility and accountability now for the most part this situation once again proves my point because again we have guys in the nfl let's just call it what it is they act like they feel like they're entitled it's not all, but we have some that come into the NFL, the moment they get that money, they want to not put the work in. And my question is, is that if you are a GM, if you are the GM, if you're a head coach, if you're a teammate, and you have someone like that in your locker room, how are you feeling about that? Straight up answer. Let's not play ring around the rosy. Example, had a nice, in my opinion, it was a very thorough, it was a very agree to disagree conversation in that part two. Really nice guy. Shout out to him. He would, again, we can agree to disagree on, the, on these type of top, on this on this type of topic. I'm all about holding guys responsible. I am not a yes man. I'm not one of these Guys, like for example, where I'm going to applaud, for example, what James Harden did to get out of the city, to get out the, off the, to get traded from the Rockets. I'm not celebrating that because I look at it like this: you got all that power in Houston and you abused it. You didn't give your all, plain and simple. And whether you like it or not, now that you're traded to Brooklyn, it's championship or bust. I don't want to hear. Him playing at a defensive, he's playing better at a defensive level. Or he's doing this. I don't care about that. It's either championship or bust. Plain and simple. Now, I apologize let me get off the soapbox. When you look at Isaiah Wilson. Isaiah Wilson tweeted out. He's done being a Tennessee Titan. No further comments was his tweet. He deleted that. Mind you, they didn't have to draft you. There were five guys, in my personal opinion, 
that Tennessee could have drafted ahead of Isaiah Wilson. And I will leave. Mm, I won't do that. Isaiah Wilson was drafted 29th overall. The goal was to replace Jack Conklin, if I'm saying this right, because he departed for Cleveland. Now, I believe Isaiah Thomas, I want to say he's only participated in four games and for the most part has been on the non-football injury reserve list because of, once again, behavior off the field. When you're at a off-campus party, I believe it was at Tennessee State, he wants to jump off or try to jump off a second floor balcony. That's not smart. And then in September, charged with DUI. And then here you come after the season. And you want to say you're done with the Titans. First and foremost, you see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the type of problems I have. With, with guys with this type of mindset. Again, entitlement. And I don't know why they feel as though they think that they make and make these rules. Oh, I can do whatever I want. Because I said this in quite a few of my sport take videos. This was a di this was a different year for sports. This was different. All this let me go to a boat party or let me go see some ass at a strip club. Let me do see this. Let me do that. Different. The NFL, again, I'm surprised the NFL actually survived the season with the problems that it was having. When you're hearing, quote, let me pull it up. When you're hearing John Robinson, GM for the Tennessee Titans, quote, we put him on the reserve non-football injury list and haven't spoken to him since. He's going to have to make a determination on whether he wants to do what it takes to play pro football. That's on him. I know what the expectation level is here. It's no different than any other player on the football team. We have a certain standard that we want players to prepare and perform at professionally. And as people, there's a lot of work to be done there. When you hear a guy say that, particularly the GM, that lets me know right there, Isaiah Wilson, is they're done with him. They really were done with him after the DUI um, incident back in September. Really, honestly, I... You go to an off-campus party in the midst of training camp. I remember, I can't remember who it was. I want to say it was for the Baltimore Ravens. I want to say it was Jaleel Scott, wide receiver. can't remember who it was, but I know it was Raven player. It was during training camp. Got cut because he threw a football into a pond after celebrating. You don't do that kind of stuff, that kind of behavior. And uh, again, obviously, because John Harbaugh as well, like Ron Rivera, is a no-nonsense guy. When you are hearing, and there's a lot of work to be done there, Isaiah Wilson has had maturity problems dating back to college. And again, the Tennessee Titans took a chance on him. But meanwhile, here's a guy who, to me, is going to find himself in a, in a, in a world of hurt with his NFL career being over like that. When you're hearing the GM, I'm going to continue the, the, the quote. We did a lot of work on him leading up to the draft. The player that was here in the fall was not the player we evaluated. He said, that is not good. It's not. And I don't 
I don't know what it, it's going to take for these athletes, particularly the fo- these football players, to understand that the window to make this money in the NFL is short. And when you're going out, when you're doing these type of things, in this case, Mr. Wilson, where it can be recorded, where you can find yourself in a lot of trouble, where it has consequences. Example, Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins was cut because of one, his performance, in my opinion, was was poor, and then his behavior off the field, particularly in the midst of a pandemic. Isaiah Wilson. This is what I don't understand. Here it is. You're drafted 29th overall. Most guys who kill to be in that kind of situation, they kill to be a number one, a first round pick. Guys who work their asses off twice as hard as he has and don't get that, that opportunity, that name called. Or get to shake Roger Gordell's hand. Here it is. Here it is for you. And it doesn't seem like football is a priority. I, I don't understand that with the mindset of the athlete of the of, of the athlete today. Particularly when it comes to football. Basketball, that, that's a whole other subject for another video. Because when, when, when you look at Isaiah Wilson, Isaiah Wilson, to me, again, great football player. I've seen, I, I saw the combine. I think he did really, I think he did exceptionally well. But I think there were five guys better than him that could have been drafted by Tennessee. But when you're hearing these kind of things, as I stated, DUI charge, the being at an off-campus party, these are no-nos <laughs> because the Tennessee Titans could have cut him and said, no, see, we don't tolerate that. These coaches tell these guys in training camp, please stay out of trouble because people watch, and particularly with social media, people are like hawks. Anything that you do, it's plastered. With Isaiah Wilson, look at the cause and effect. I I, I just look at it like this. To me, when you have with G, when you have the GM coming out and who said it, we haven't spoken to him since he we put him on the the non football injury reserve list. They're done with you. And again, this is what I'm talking about. I said it in the part two Dwayne Haskins video. If you are an NFL team, are you taking a chance on a guy like this? How do you know that Isaiah Wilson is not going to go out here and do what he did before? He should be he should be smarter than this. Plain and simple. And I'm, I'm not going to get into the, I, I, I'm not going to be a broken record when it comes to this social distancing, wearing the mask. I'm not going to be a broken record with that. I'm, I'm, the, the NFL and its teams made guidelines that, to me, should have been enforced. If it's not enforced, fines, suspensions, and potential cuts for the team. That's just me. That's how I would run things if I was a GM. Okay, potential fine. Okay, doing the same thing, suspension. All right, you're not going to do what we will, you're not going to follow the rules. We're letting you go. All I'm saying is at the end of the day, we have to hold guys like Isaiah Wilson 
and others responsible. Again, that's like it for any, and it doesn't have to be with football. This is with any any job that anyone can work. If you're told to come in at nine o'clock and you rolling up in there at eleven, the supervisor gonna look at you like, um, you were supposed to be here two hours ago. Well, I can come in here because I can come whenever I feel like it. And it don't work like that. Because you're going to find yourself without a job. Now, if there's an emergency, something else, that's different. But if you're coming in there late, habitually, and do whatever you want to do, get doing a half-assed job, you're going to be let go the moment you're hired. Because that's not what they hired you to do. When he said, this is not the player that we evaluated back before we drafted him. That's like, again, you hand me a resume, oh, you have all the experience that we're looking for. But when we, as soon as you're hired, you have your feet up on the desk. Does that, does that make sense? If, if that makes sense, you see where I'm going with that? That's Isaiah Wilson. You're giving, he, he gave you all what he showed to be a number one overall, you know, to be drink pick 29th overall. But now it's kind of like, now that I'm in the NFL, eh, I'm good. I don't care about, you know, being, you know, driving under the influence or where I could endanger other people, hurt or hurt myself potentially. I'm at an off-campus party, which, by the way, I'm sure that the school has dealt with that already. Those type of things need to be thought about. Let me let me close up by saying this because I, I don't want to hold you up long. You know, I don't know if Isaiah Wilson will ever see this video, but let me say this: the Tennessee Titans got to the playoffs without him. This situation shows me one thing. He's expandable. Now, what that means is you're easily replaced. I've said it in numerous, I said in, in a, a few videos. You don't want to put in the work. As I stated with that example I gave, you don't want to put in the work. You're easily replaceable. Plain and simple. I think I said the same thing in Dwayne in the Dwayne Haskins video. Look at the screw ups and look at their result. He was cut. Look at Isaiah Wilson. Now most teams, again, as I stated, are they gonna take a chance on this? Can, can he turn this? Can, is it possible he could turn around? We'll see. But it's all up to Isaiah. Not the New England Patriots. Not the San Francisco 49ers. Not the Green Bay Packers. It's Isaiah Wilson. And in my personal opinion, there's no way in hell you should be having that kind of asking for that, making those kind of demands. And you have not put in any work. Plain and simple. If he was like in... Example, Randy Moss's shoes. Just giving a random example. That's different. But here you are. You haven't made any significant moves to show why you deserve to be picked 29th overall. Or let me say it like this. As Stephen A. Smith would say, wet behind the ears, breath smelling like Similac. You haven't done anything, bro. And yet, you don't even realize the consequences that you made that you've now put yourself in. I wish Isaiah Wilson nothing but the best. I hope he turns it around. But he has nobody other than to blame than himself. Plain and simple. 
With that being said, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know y'all thoughts down below in the description. I will leave the links to the article as well for y'all to read. I I don't think what I said was wrong. Again, this is an agree to disagree. We can have a conversation. But the one thing that, as most of you know, I hold guys accountable. I would expect John Harbaugh or um, Bill Belichick, Mike McCarthy, and any other coach, any of my teammates, the front office, to if, if I'm drafted in that position, okay, they draft me for a reason. I got to be held accountable for my actions. I have to think smarter. Peace. Yeah.